Hi Future Scientists, I am Adam. In this lesson, we will discuss moles, Avogadro's number, moles to number of particles and number of particles to moles, molar mass of elements and compounds, moles to grams and grams to moles, number of particles to grams and grams to number of particles. So what is a mole? Well, not the furry creature that burrows underground. In chemistry, a mole is a unit of measurement. It is just like a dozen apples is 12 apples. A baker's dozen of bread rolls is 13 bread rolls. A ream of paper is 500 sheets of paper. A quartet of musicians is a group of four musicians. A mole of candies is a massive 6.02 times 10 to the 23 candies. This number is called Avogadro's number and is named in honor of Amedeo Avogadro, 1776 to 1856, an Italian scientist. Avogadro proposed Avogadro's law, which states that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules. Avogadro himself didn't actually determine the exact value of Avogadro's number, but his name is immortalized in chemistry through Avogadro's number, which represents the number of particles, atoms, molecules, ions, etc. in one mole of a substance. So Avogadro's number is a staggering 6.02 times 10 to the 23. In standard notation, it is 602 and then 21 zeros right after that. That's a lot of zeros. So let's put this into perspective with a fun example. Imagine we have one mole of cookies. How many years will it take 8 billion people to eat a mole of cookies if each person eats one cookie per minute? So one mole cookies is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 cookies. 8 billion people eat one cookie in one minute. So that will be 8 billion cookies per minute consumed. Now let's convert that to hour, which means multiply that by 60 minutes per hour. Now to convert it to day, you multiply that with 24 hours per day. Now to convert that to years, you multiply that with 365 days per year. And then you get 4.2 times 10 to the 15 cookies per year are consumed. To find out how many years it would take 8 billion people to eat a mole of cookies, we divide the number of cookies in a mole by the number of cookies eaten in one year. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23 cookies divided by 4.2 times 10 to the 15 cookies per year equals 1.43 times 10 to the 8 years. So it would take approximately 1.43 times 10 to the 8 years for 8 billion people to eat a mole of cookies, assuming each person can eat one cookie per minute continuously. Conversion from moles to number of particles. We know that one mole sulfur atoms equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23 sulfur atoms. One mole water molecules is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 water molecules. 1 mole NaCl equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23 sodium 1 plus ions and chloride 1 minus ions because it's an ionic bond. Sample problem. Find the number of carbon atoms in 3.5 moles of carbon. We will use dimensional analysis to solve this since it allows us to convert between different units using conversion factors, leaving us with the desired units for our final answer. Step 1 identify the starting point of the problem. So 3.5 moles of carbon is a starting point. Now we multiply the starting point with an appropriate conversion factor to get to our end point of the goal. So 3.5 moles of carbon times the conversion factor equals. Step two is identifying the goal or the end point of the problem. And in this case, it is a number of carbon atoms. So it will be 3.5 moles of carbon times conversion factor equals blank atoms of carbon. Step three is to set up the conversion factor. The conversion factor will have moles in the denominator and atoms in the numerator. 
So in this case, it will, the conversion factor will be 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms of carbon divided by one mole of carbon. So um, as you can see in this equation, we can cross out the moles of carbon from the numerator and denominator, and we get our result in atoms. Step four is to finalize the answer. So the final answer is 3.5 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms of carbon, which equals 2.11 times 10 to the 24 atoms of carbon. Conversion from number of particles to moles. Sample problem. How many moles of sulfur atoms is 4.72 times 10 to the 24 atoms of sulfur? Step one, identify the starting point which is 4.72 times 10 to the 24 sulfur atoms. Now we multiply that with the conversion factor and identify the end point of the problem is step two. And then point is how many moles of sulfur atoms. So it will be 4.72 times 10 to the 24 atoms of sulfur times the conversion factor equals blank moles of sulfur. Now the conversion factor should have atoms in the denominator and moles in the numerator conversion factor in this case is one mole sulfur over 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms of sulfur. Cross out the atoms of sulfur from the numerator and denominator and we get our result in moles. So step four is the final answer. So in this case it is 4.72 times 10 to the 24 times one mole of sulfur divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23 and that equals 7.84 moles of sulfur. Molar mass. If we have to buy 100 apples, there must be an efficient way rather than count 100 apples in the grocery store. Suppose the mass of a single apple is 0.1 kg, we can measure out 10 kg of apples, which is a mass of 100 apples. Similarly, in chemistry, if we need one mole of carbon for an experiment, it is just impossible to count out 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms of carbon. Instead, we need to know what the mass of one mole of carbon is. Molar mass is the mass of one mole of anything in grams per mole. It turns out that the molar mass of an element is its atomic mass in AMU written in grams per mole. Molar mass of elements. So mass of one mole of carbon is about 12 grams per mole since carbon's atomic mass is 12.01 AMU. Mass of one mole of aluminum is about 27 grams per mole since aluminum's atomic mass is about 27 AMU. Molar mass of compounds. The molar mass of a compound is the sum of the atomic masses of the individual atoms that make up the compound. So molar mass of CH4 or methane is, first of all, CH4 is a molecular compound since it has covalent bonds and methane exists as individual CH4 molecules. So its molecular weight is 12 AMU plus 4 AMU since there are four hydrogen atoms. So that equals 16 AMU. So the molar mass of methane equals 16 grams per mole. Molar mass of NaCl. NaCl is an ionic compound since it has ionic bonds and NaCl exists as Na1 plus and Cl1 minus ions. So instead of molecular weight, we call it formula weight because NaCl exists as ions and not as molecules. Formula weight of NaCl is 22.99 plus 35.45 AMU and that equals 58.44 AMU. So the molar mass of NaCl equals 58.44 grams per mole. Conversion from moles to grams. Sample problem one. How many grams are in eight moles of magnesium? The starting point is eight moles of magnesium and the end point is how many grams of magnesium is there. So eight moles of magnesium times the conversion factor equals blank grams of Mg. The conversion factor will have moles in the denominator and grams in the numerator. So eight moles of Mg times the conversion factor here is 24.3 grams per one mole of Mg because the atomic mass of Mg is 24.3 AMU. And if you cross out the moles, you will get your result in grams and that equals 194.4 grams Mg. Sample problem two. 
how many grams are in 5 moles of CuSO4 5H2O? 5 moles of copper sulfate pentahydrate is a starting point, and end point is how many grams of CuSO4 5H2O is there. So, 5 moles of CuSO4 5H2O times the conversion factor should give you blank grams of CuSO4 5H2O. The conversion factor will have moles in the denominator and grams in the numerator. So in this case, to figure out the grams in the numerator, we need to look at the molar mass of copper sulfate pentahydrate. And that equals 63.5 plus 32.1 plus 9 times 16 since there are 9 oxygen atoms plus 10 because there are 5 times 2 10 hydrogen atoms. And that equals 249.6 grams per mole. So 5 moles of CuSO4 5H2O times 249.6 grams CuSO4 5H2O divided by 1 mole of CuSO4 5H2O equals blank grams of CuSO4 5H2O. Now let's cross out the moles and we get the result in grams and that equals 1248 grams of CuSO4 5H2O. Conversion from grams to moles. Sample problem 1. How many moles are in 20 grams of lithium? So 20 grams of lithium is the starting point and how many moles of lithium is there is the end point. So 20 grams of lithium times the conversion factor equals blank moles of lithium. The conversion factor will have grams in the denominator and moles in the numerator. So we get 20 grams of lithium times one mole over 6.9 grams of lithium. And here we are gonna cross out the grams and we get our result in moles. So that is equal to 2.9 moles of lithium. Sample problem two. How many moles are in 98.3 grams of aluminum hydroxide? 98.3 grams aluminum hydroxide is the starting point. How many moles of aluminum hydroxide is A end point? 98.3 grams aluminum hydroxide times conversion factor equals blank moles of aluminum hydroxide. The conversion factor will have grams in the denominator and moles in the numerator. Molar mass of aluminum hydroxide equals 27 plus 3 times 16 because there are 3 oxygen atoms plus 3 because there are 3 hydrogen atoms and that equals 78 grams per mole. So 98.3 grams aluminum hydroxide times the conversion factor is 1 mole aluminum hydroxide over 78 grams of aluminum hydroxide. So we can cross out the grams of aluminum hydroxide and we get our result in moles and that equals 1.26 moles of aluminum hydroxide. Conversion from grams to number of particles. Sample problem. How many molecules of oxygen are there in 10.2 grams of O2 gas? Here we need to convert the grams to moles first, then from moles to number of molecules. Step one is to convert from grams to moles. 10.2 grams of O2 times the conversion factor is one mole over 32 grams of O2. Cross out the grams and we get the moles, but we are not done yet because now we move to step two where we convert moles to molecules. In this case, the conversion factor will be 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules of O2 per one mole of O2. Now in this case, the mole will get canceled out and we get our final answer, which is 1.92 times 10 to the 23 molecules of O2. Conversion from number of particles to grams. How many grams is 1.7 times 10 to the 23 molecules of Cl2? Step one is to convert the molecules to moles. So 1.7 times 10 to the 23 molecules of Cl2 times the conversion factor, which is one mole Cl2 over 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules of Cl2. Cross out the molecules and the result will be moles. But we are not done yet because now we have to move to step two where we convert the moles to grams. So in this case, the conversion factor is 70.9 grams Cl2 per one mole of Cl2. Cross out the moles and we get our final answer as 20.02 grams of Cl2. There you have it. Moles, avocados number and molar mass. Please subscribe, like and share so that more students can benefit from this free resource. And I will see you in my next video lesson. Happy learning. Thank you.